Working in an office has always been a tale of professionalism, mixed with emotional resilience. It becomes a battleground of ambitions, personal dynamics and sometimes stark misunderstandings. For someone sensitive like me, these boundaries are often blurry. I pour my heart into every piece of work, intertwining it with a dash of my soul. I'm not just any employee. I pride myself on being responsible and confident about my contribution. Yet, it's this very attribute that's become a double-edged sword in my dealings with my boss. It was just another ordinary day, the soft hum of computers, the occasional phone ring, and that general sense of busyness in the air. Engrossed in my project, the abrupt entry of my boss into my office took me by surprise. She didn't walk in with a gentle request or even a casual check-in. Instead, she had a directive, a strong, unequivocal command to integrate me into her project leaving my ongoing work to dangle in the balance. Now, I respect hierarchy and the demands of a job, but this, this felt invasive. As I watched her list out the tasks, she needed me to handle from compiling reports to scoring through system transactions. A bubble of indignation grew inside me. I felt like an overburdened pawn on her chessboard moved at her will while she sat comfortably in her chair of authority. Could I have said no? In the ideal world of respecting everyone's time and space, yes. But in the reality of corporate dynamics, refusal could be seen as insubordination. I grappled internally. Was it my place to stand up for my workload? Or should I just swallow my pride and get on with it? Yet, the more I pondered, the clearer my emotions became. I was annoyed, not just because she had diverted my attention from my tasks, but because she couldn't handle her responsibilities on her own. I had to wonder, did she genuinely require my expertise? Or was this just a power play? Her demeanor, often teetering on the line of insensitivity, made me question if she had the makings of a leader. Was it her ruthlessness that got her to where she is? Do only psychopaths make it to the top? As these thoughts swirled in my head, I was left with a pressing question, what should I do? Hey there, wonderful viewers. Today we're diving deep into the intricacies of office dynamics, specifically those challenging relationships with our bosses. If you've ever felt like your boss, just doesn't get you or it's impossible to see eye toy, this one's for you. So you're sensitive, right? That's beautiful. Because it makes you empathetic and caring. But here's the catch in the hustle and bustle of office life. This sensitivity can sometimes cause you to take things to heart. Not everything is personal, and not every decision revolves around feelings. You've got that spark, that confidence in your work. But remember, there's a thin line between confidence and overconfidence. In today's collaborative workspace, it's all about understanding and appreciating different perspectives. Modern offices are like whirlwinds. Priorities can change at the drop of a hat. And being able to shift gears, even when interrupted, is what sets successful professionals apart. Let's talk about the boss. Now, from your perspective, your boss might come across as a bit, well, pushy. But consider this may be their under pressures you're unaware of. It's not always about insensitivity. Sometimes, it's just about getting things done. You might feel they're lacking in some departments. But remember, leadership roles are complex. They see potential in you, and that's why they might be delegating tasks to you. They trust in your abilities. A boss's day is filled with unseen challenges, pressures, and demands. It's a balancing act, managing their team while also answering to higher-ups. Here is my advice for harmonious boss relations. Next time you're given a task out of the blue, pause and ask, hey, can we chat about the priority level of this? It opens up a dialogue and helps you understand their perspective. It's not about hiding your feelings, but channeling them effectively. You've got this. 
open up to your boss about your workload. Approach with solutions, not just problems. Communication can work wonders. Ask for it, it'll give you insights. Help you grow and show your boss you're invested in your role. Empathize a bit. Understanding where they're coming from might change how you perceive their action. Always be on the lookout for skills that can help you manage challenges better. You're always evolving, always learning. Remember, it's okay to say, I've got a lot on my plate right now. Can this wait or can we find another solution? In the end, it's all about balance and understanding. By seeing both sides and navigating the middle path, you can cultivate a healthier, more productive working relationship. Remember, you've got the skills, the passion, and the drive. Combine that with understanding, and you're unstoppable. If this resonated with you, give this video a thumbs up and comment with your experiences below. And don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content.